Today I'm going to show you how I make these bling shoes for weddings, for sneaker balls, for proms, whatever occasion you want to be blingy for. So you're going to start with a pair of Converse or canvas, canvas shoe. It doesn't have to be a Converse brand shoe. Um, Converse always crams their shoes in these little boxes. Uh, but after I bling them, they don't fit back in these boxes at all. So I use a special gift box for that. You're going to delace the shoes and... This time, the lettering is going to go on the tongue. A lot of times I put the lettering on the side of the shoe, but the customer specifically asked for this lettering to go on the tongue. So looks like I'm gonna do about two and a half inches by two and a half inches of text. Um, I just really want quick wanna show you what I use to scuff up the toe. Sometimes um, I'll use an X-Acto knife or just anything to rough up the toe, a sand block, whatever but I've lately I've been using this drill that I got on Amazon. I'll leave the link to this specific drill um, in the description box of this video, or you can, yeah, I'll leave it in the description box of the video. And this is me weeding the vinyl. I don't always show this. I'm an aggressive weeder, so I'm not really very patient, so. I just buy vinyl that I like that allows me to weed how I want to weed. And I use the Silhouette now. I haven't been using the Cricut. I was having a lot of problems. I had a couple Cricuts and I was just having, a pro having problems with them. So I switched to Silhouette and that's been working for me the last few months. Actually almost a year, well, maybe about eight months now. And then I also got this very small heat press on Amazon. Again, I will leave the links in the description box below. Um, I love this little thing. This is great for labels, for tags, for anything small. And then I'm just applying the vinyl lettering to the tongue. I do have a full tutorial on how I do bling shoes on my website, recdiy.com. I will also link that below if you need a more detailed tutor tutorial about how I do these kinds of shoes. So I'm just getting my rhinestones together. I always like to start on the toe. And look how my glue starts because you'll see when I get done, um, I actually ended up having to open up another glue. This one was half used though. And then I just like to go, this is how I like to apply my rhinestones and I use five millimeter rhinestones. I just keep going around and around and around and then on the second row I'll kind of window them and that's how I'll do it the whole way around. So once I go around a few layers, then I like to go across the middle. And then now this is the part that's kind of like putting together a puzzle. I just put all these different pearls. Sometimes I mix in stones, but this was just a mix of pearls. Actually, there was a couple. Um, I actually did have AB resin rhinestones in this mix just to give it some extra sparkle. Obviously, this is sped up because this takes a lot longer. If I'm just sitting consistently, it takes me about three hours to do um, a high top shoe like this. I think these were size nine and a half women's. So here you can just see I'm going in real time. Obviously this would take much longer if I continued at this pace. Um, it actually does take longer. So. I'm just gonna speed it up so that you can watch it in fast forward.
and this is how they turned out so far i've only done three of the four sides but i just wanted you to see kind of how it looks i still need to do that one side over there but these look super cute And you can see I'm starting to run out of glue now, but I'm just going to keep on going because I try to get all of the glue out of the tube. So as you can see, my glue is pretty beat. It's gone, totally empty, um, and it's oozing, so yuck. So I got a new one. I kind of pick these up every time I go to the store just so I make sure that I always have some. And I'm just gonna finish off this shoe. And I'm just gonna finish off this shoe. This is super hard to do on camera. Um, just trying to be comfortable so I can move quickly because I do wanna get this shoe done. But also trying to set it up so that you guys can see. And then now on to the laces. This is the home stretch. And I just use ribbon for my laces. And that is how you make a bling shoe. This particular method works on any canvas shoe. I've done Vans, um, I've done off-brand shoes. Pretty much any canvas shoe, any fabric shoe, this will work for. Um, you don't wanna send this to your customer right away. I like to let it set up for at least six hours. Um, and then I just, add tissue paper, put them in my gift box with my card and thank you note, and they are off to a wedding. Thanks for watching.